Hello, everyone. Welcome to the market simulation call for fall release, fall 2021 release. Uh, my name is Anshman Vaidya. I'm your market simulation lead, and today is September 30. Calls and webinars are recorded for stakeholder convenience, allowing those who are unable to attend to listen to the recordings after the meeting. The recordings will be publicly available on the ISO webpage for a limited time following the meetings. The recordings and any related transcription should not be reprinted without the ISO permission. We'll talk about the following items today. We'll talk about map stageability, timelines for different market simulation initiatives, talk about the initiative separately, uh, the known issues, a quick reminder about the system interface changes, and the next steps. To get up-to-date information about map stageability, you can log into portalmap.kaiso.com. Currently, we have the following upcoming map stage scheduled maintenance. We have an ADS UI maintenance tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. CMRI, UI, and API will be unavailable tomorrow all day. We have a OMS or OSS API maintenance from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow and a tentative cyber API unavailability on 10.8. Any questions regarding map stage availability? All right, moving on. All right, so for real-time settlements in review phase two, we completed the second structured simulation trade date of 9.28. Uh, for energy storage and distributed energy resources phase four implementation, we have been continuously doing the market simulation for trade days 23rd, 28th, and we are also planning to do it today. Uh, the market is set up with all the rug simulated infeasibilities for today's trade date. Uh, we have QRV approval for intertai shadow pricing resolution project, and it's the go live today. We are doing unstructured just starting the market simulation from today's trade date. Uh, this project has unstructured market simulations, so there are no structured scenarios designed right now. We have a, a, a one week delay for short long start definition project. It will now start market simulation on 1014. Any questions related to any of the starting dates for the projects? Hi, Anshuman. This is Alina from pg &E. So for intertai shadow pricing, uh, are you, is QRB, has QRB approved or the approval is awaiting? The QRB has approved. Okay. Thank you. So it is available to test today. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Anshuman. Uh, this is Ray calling from pg &E. I thought that a short long start definition initiative was being pushed out to 2022. Are we still anticipating uh, market sim in October? So Ray, uh, yes, we were pushing the date to go live for short long start definition in 2022, but there's no scope changes. So we were hoping as we, there's no scope changes and we deploy the changes with environment for market simulation testing. You know, time we have a deadline on when we go to production. Okay, so Marcus Sim will start 10 14 for this initiative, and how long does it plan to go on for? I don't have that date, to be honest. Okay, um, I mean, that's it will go on until we go for production. Oh, so we'll have. An extended amount of time to uh, test and since it, I think in the rug call it was product activation early 2022. You're right. Okay. We'll have time That's to good. then test this functionality. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Anshuman. No problem. Any other questions? All right, moving on. So this slide is just giving more information about the documentation for the real-time settlements review phase two project and energy storage and distributed energy resources phase four implementation. 
as I meant, mentioned, we completed the structured scenarios on September 16 and September 28 for the real-time settlements review phase two project. And we've been running structured scenarios for SR4 project from September 23rd, 28, and 30. Uh, we plan to do the RUG uh, infeasibility uh, till today, and then we plan to not do the RUG infeasibility for the future settlement state that are coming in October 6th and October 13th. Just to tell, allow market participants to test uh, this functionality without the RUG generated in infeasibility. Any questions regarding that? All right, moving on. Uh, we have these four projects that we are allowed, opening the market some environment for, um, but these are unstructured, these are open for unstructured testing, hybrid resources phase 2A. Uh, we'll put the market some environment till October 15th, into tight shadow pricing resolution, starting the market simulation today, and we'll open it till October 15th. Uh, EM base schedule submission deadline phase one, its market simulation is complete. And short long start definition, it'll start on October 14th. The business requirement specifications are also listed on the slide. Any questions regarding these four projects? All right. Moving on. So the known issues, we uh, last, actually yesterday, we identified a design gap uh, for SR4, where if there are minimum EOH SOC for uh, all hours are getting disregard, discarded if a RUC generated MOC is present for any hour. So you know, if you have anything, any MOC present for like, let's say our ending one or our ending two, it will disregard, discard all the minimum EOH SOC for all hours of that day. So we identified this design gap uh, yesterday. It is being discussed right now with our team internally. So uh, I'll let you know more information on that as, a, as we develop more information on it. Anybody from Kaiser wants to add anything on this? One? Yeah, so, so this just has to do with the design of the rock generated uh, mean SOC. Uh, whenever the under generation conditions are triggered during the rock, it actually generates uh, mean SOC for all the hours of the uh, trade day. And it could be even zero for some of the hours. So not only for the critical hours, so when this goes into the real-time market, you know, they are considered binding. And that's why the way the software was designed was to ignore the bits for the mean end of our state of charge. So that's the potential design gap that we identified uh, during the testing. So uh, like Anshima mentioned, we are following up internally to kind of offer the best resolution for this situation. Thank you, Juan. Uh, any questions here for regarding the design guide? All right, uh, moving on. This is a quick reminder about the system interface changes that are coming with variable operations and maintenance project. This is for master file. This has been implemented in map stage and the production go live date is 1st of January. Any questions regarding uh, these system interface changes? All right. Another reminder for the system interface changes coming with fall release for the three project as there four, hybrid resource phase two, and interact shadow pricing resolution. All of these have been implemented in map stage and are available for market participants to test. Any questions regarding these system interface changes? All right, moving on. 
That's all I have for today's teleconference. Next one is scheduled on October 4th at 2 p.m. Now I'll open up for any other questions that uh, somebody has, anybody wants to discuss, or you want to expect any CA tickets. Please go ahead. Hi, this is Mike McGuffin from CES. Um, sorry to keep asking about this, but um, are, are, have you guys had a chance to review the scenarios and questions that we sent regarding the phase 2A? We are currently discussing them, and uh, we will get back to you on those, Mike, when we decide on the date and when we can perform those scenarios. Okay. So we, we, we will reach out to our email. Reach out. Yeah. Sorry, what? We will reach out as soon as possible via email. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Anshuman. This is Alva at PG&E. Uh, just a comment on if if there is um, uh, are any changes made to the design, I, I ask that we try to build in an, a, a day for a day or more for 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 testing those changes. Um, you know, but I don't know what the timeline will be, so it, it's it's a little hard to um, for you to to uh, guarantee that. But that's just something we would 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 want to be able to do. So. All right, Alva. I assume this is regarding the design gap that we identified yesterday. Right, yeah. So uh, I think it's going to take a little bit of time because we have to first agree on what the resolution can be and then we have to send it to vendor. And then uh, it's a little bit of process. So I would not expect an immediate fix for it coming in very soon. So uh, I will let you know the timeline of the fix for that particular design gap in a couple of meetings, you know, by maybe October, by the next meeting or the meeting after that. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Anshuman. Any other? Yeah. Hi, this is Isaac with the SE. Um, just wanted to make a comment on the Esther 4 testing. Um, we are noticing that uh, the day ahead finals are uh, coming out rather late, um, pretty, uh, all, pretty much all week this week. And uh, it's kind of, um, since, as you know, the Esther 4 scenarios rely on uh, real time bits to be submitted and that those can only be calculated after the day had finals have been published. So, um, it's becoming more difficult for for our SMEs to, you know, for, for their availability at, at late hours to perform the, the scenarios that we want to test. So, just uh, wanted to see if there's a way for for Kaiso to publish the, the they have finals um, sooner. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you for bringing that point. Uh, let me just reiterate: we were having some, um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to generate the RUC in feasibility results so that we can simulate the SR4 for the trade that we were working on. So that took a little bit of time, and that took, uh, that means that the day ahead was published late. But we're not planning to put any more rug and feasibility cases uh, for future trade dates. So I hope and, and that we'll publish the day ahead on time. And plus, I'll reach out to my team members to make sure that we publish at least by 3 p.m. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Any other thoughts or comments that we can discuss here? All right, well, thank you everyone for joining the call. We'll see you back again on October 4th. Thank you.